How we doing, folks? What's today's date? I don't even know what today's date is. September 3rd? Hello, Angie. Angie, hello. Uh, uh, I need to talk to you in private, make sure that you're okay. My, uh, my, 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 my prayers, my heart is with you in uh, this moment, has been with you. Hello, Candle Dreams, Diana, Brian Fusco. Brian's gonna get a little shout out today. Diane's here. That's good to hear, Angie, I really. Um, fine can lean in either direction, though, so I hope you really are fine. How's it going, Lisa? And I miss somebody, Becky. I do this every time. The thing is, I keep myself busy all week long. So when it comes to um, improving the lives, I'm still working on it. I want to be doing the lives off the computer, but you guys don't want to hear me say the same thing over and over again, so I won't. And I don't want to complain. Wow. Uh, Angie, well, that is wonderful to hear. My very, very close friend is from Houston, my, probably my best friend. And he experienced the same thing. He's at higher elevations and um, didn't experience anything. But I've been traveling. I've been on the road, so I just haven't been with the times. So as soon as I got home from my travels, uh, I was just bombarded about all the information from Houston. So I just, I really, really, Houston and let's say Texas and uh, Louisiana, want to send uh, my blessings. I hope this can serve as a place to come and uh, forget about your troubles for a short period of time. Uh, let's let's pull up this video so i am back from my what was supposed to be a seven day excursion through massachusetts and uh it went very well uh something one of the videos i was going to film it kind of had to get dropped uh but it's being rescheduled uh but i also had to get home a little bit quicker than I anticipated. So the bad news is I didn't get to film everything I wanted. The good news is I'm going back to Massachusetts, let's say Eastern Massachusetts. And this way I'll have a little bit more time to shoot more, more stuff. Hang in with me just for a moment, guys. If you noticed, YouTube has changed they're everything. It's driving me nuts. All right, there we go. So I can see me. I can see uh, your comments. Wish I could see more of the comments. All right, so look at this. Happy Labor Day, Nancy. Hi from Santa Cruz. Is that why you're a cruise bat? Uh, hello, hello. Driving home through Massachusetts right now. Is it raining? It's it's kind of raining up in upstate New York. The Hershey pillow. That's a very special pillow right there. I didn't mean to make that sound so dramatic, but it is a very it's a very important pillow, and it's there today, serving a very special purpose. Um, okay, so last time we spoke live, I was at Kringle Candle and I had filmed all my material for the Halloween preview party at Yankee Candle Village in Massachusetts. I hope you guys watch that video. I really do. Uh, it took me several days longer for me to edit and um, really there's no excuses. Just life gets in the way sometimes. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it serves as a vicarious experience. You know, a little bit of what it's like to be there when uh, you attend the, the preview party. They're not even calling it the preview party. Th this year, they were also calling it Fan Appreciation Day, which kind of took away, I don't want to say took away from the spookiness, but it, you know, it, I think it, you had two different crowds. You had the people showing up for Halloween goods, but you also had people showing up for Fan Appreci Appreciation Day, trying to win uh, like goodies and prizes. But overall, very, very fun experience. But I don't need to repeat myself. And uh, I got a lot to cover here. 
And first thing is first, this is really important. Because when I was at Kringle Candle, I announced a giveaway. I announced a giveaway right here. Do you see that? For a sweet seduction candle with my face on it. If I can find that, I want to show it to you. All right. I should have had this ready to go. So, Sweet Seduction, uh, brand new for 2017. I have burned it several times already. This is a beautiful replacement for candy corn. In fact, it reminds me a whole lot of uh, Trick or Treat, was, which was the swirl candle. But there are, there are certainly other nuances to it. So, I really think, and I mean this, I think Yankee really nailed it. Um, because a lot of people don't like candy corn. So they pass it up all the time. And candy corn always had the reputation of being a very low intensity candle. So this certainly changes that. It's a, a much more powerful, intense, buttercream, vanilla experience, as well as the honey. Uh, a little bit of spice in there as well. And I'm burning it, it's burning great. Right there beside me. So the giveaway, I do wanna give this away and it's gonna be open to anyone uh, globally. Uh, the way you participate, whether in my last live video where I announced this, or in this video here, I want you to create, I want you to be very creative here. Create a candle concept. Now, a lot of you have done this already. Create a Halloween candle concept. This can consist of, well, it should consist of as many things as possible, because I want you to be creative. but a name, a concept for a label, if you want to like throw in a color or if it's a swirl candle or if there's something special about the vessel itself, throw that in there. And give me a little bit of story behind this candle. Not just what it smells like, but what, 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 what is the concept? What provoked you to think of this concept and create it? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the submissions. So again, comment below when this video is finally uploaded or go to my Kringle Candle video and post it there. Don't go now, wait till we're done and fill it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my, I'm gonna pick a handful of favorites, right? And then I'm gonna dump it into, I don't know if it's gonna be a bucket, a bowl. And I'm gonna pick one out, like a lottery system out of that bowl. Because last time it was way too hard for me to, um, uh, it was way too hard for me to, to, to pick a winner and I just everyone put so much effort into it so I feel like if I narrow it down to my favorites and do a lottery system this will be a lot better the new Halloween candles this year were witches brew forbidden apple in the aluminum top jars there was also a swirl and a layered candle but I don't think any of those had T and T in them Monica is here Monica Carlson Monica, is this a good color on me? What do you think? This is like a, a lemon custard color. Gift from Aunt Carol, Monica. Gift, Mohegan's son. It's nice cotton. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then uh, Haunted Hollow. Don't forget about the Haunted Hollow. I'm seeing a whole bunch of names here, but the Haunted Hollow I'm not seeing, which uh, exciting stuff. Um, complete mixed reactions, which was what I was expecting. We all have different preferences when it comes to fragrances. Um, but if you're, if you're a little bit more daring and you want to experience a fragrance that's a little bit more bold, outside the box, authentic outdoors, um, and a little bit cologne driven, I won't lie, um, but definitely authentic outside autumn feel. Um, you definitely have to give this one a sniff. And then if you sniff and you don't like it, do me a favor, go back to it five minutes later and smell it one more time. And as far as people are talking about throw and intensity, I really can't help you there, guys. I, I really can't. Um, had a long talk. Well, we'll be talking about this in a little bit. I had a long talk with Liz from Witch City Wicks about this idea of intensity and throw, and there's just so many variables to talk about. And um, I, burned, I burned Haunted Hollow, and 
no problems. 98% of the time, I burn Yankee candles, no problem. But you know that. Monica, look at this. Monica, first of all, I don't mind this. I love this. But Monica comes in and she steals the show. She's talking to you guys. Nancy loves this shirt. Yeah, Monica, Monica is dealing, Monica and my brother Eric, they're dealing with uh, some strong heat in Los Angeles. All right, look at, look at, look at this. I feel like I'm on a talk show. This should be on a postcard. And they'll be all set. Speaking of postcards, where are they? Because a lot of you folks um, through Patreon are, I'm waiting to send you postcards. Uh, I don't know if something got lost in the translation or in the emails, but what I need you to do is send, send any shipping dress that you want. If you want a postcard, send that, uh, this is for the Patreon members, um, send that shipping address to me at candleenthusiast at yahoo.com. Candleenthusiast at yahoo.com. Give me your name, give me your YouTube name, give me your uh, uh, a shipping address, PO box, whatever you want it to be, and I'll have, I'll have a postcard. I'll show you what some of those postcards are. I just picked up a bunch. And it looks as though, yeah, they're right here. I got them right here. So this is going to be a spoiler alert for anyone wondering where I've been uh, the past several days. But I have a bunch of Salem postcards that I would love to personalize. I, I love these old-timey retro public domain images. Some of them are public domain. And uh, I, want, I want to get them to you. If you're, if you're a Patreon member uh, um, and you haven't sent me your address already, make sure you send that. And... Finally, Jamie, I think I have a spooky one for you uh, that I think that you will enjoy. There's a couple secret ones over here. Da, 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 da. And speaking of that, let's talk about... I never thought this would happen. I just, when I set up Patreon, I threw it out there thinking, you know, maybe one day I'll get one person who wants to participate in this. Uh, through Patreon, there is a Candle of the Month Club, the Candle Enthusiast. Uh, candle of the Month Club, and what it is is, you know, uh, uh, at a certain tier at Patreon, uh, I will send you my picks for the most strange, obscure, or just my favorite candles that I find on my travels. Driving around, it could be a small little bo boutique little shop, or it could be a pretty popular company, and uh, uh, two of the ten spots are already filled, and... Uh, I don't want to. I don't know if they want me to share their names, uh, but uh, uh, let's put it this way: Brian and Jacob, uh, your candles are going out ASAP. And I'm actually going to show one of those candles to everybody uh, coming up soon. All right. How we doing? How we doing? Sunday? Has everyone got coffee? Tea? Kombucha? What do you drink on a Sunday afternoon? Oh, good to hear, Brian. Good to hear. Yeah, you're really going to... There's one that I've been wanting to get for the longest time, and wherever you find it, they don't have it in stock because it's a very, very popular candle. It's a very small production candle, so it kind of has like a cult following. So I finally found a few of them. Drinking water. Um, PayPal. Candleland, um, Candleland asked how we could send money through PayPal. Um, you know, leave me a comment or send me an email, candleenthusiast at gmail. I really, I really don't want that. I mean, I, I really appreciate, really appreciate like the super chats last week and I really appreciate people wanting to contribute. But I do want to make sure that you guys are getting something in return. That's why I thought the eBay account was so great. Um, but send me a message. We can certainly talk that over. Maybe we can work something out. Maybe. Uh, but 
Monica Carlson, iced coffee with cardamom and almond milk. I swear, I could just watch Monica's comments, but we do have to continue. Uh, all right, so big thing, big, big thing. You've already known that I was in Salem. And a lot of you folks, a lot of you folks, have done a really wonderful thing for me. Uh, I met with Liz from Witch City Wix, and she told me right away that so many of the candle enthusiast followers have been reaching out to her and saying that, oh, I found Witch City Wix through the, uh, the candle enthusiast. And she's so she was so incredibly happy to see this because when I first met her last year, I was just getting this channel off the ground. So here's some good news. Two, two, two pieces of good news. If you currently go to the website, a lot of people have kind of freaked out about this. I kind of freaked out about it too. If you go on the website, it looks about like just about everything, almost everything. Maybe she's changed a couple things, but about a week ago, everything was sold out. Everything, almost. The good news is everything will be replenished. Everything will be back in stock for Witch City Wicks on a certain date, a date I can't share with you, but to, 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 to top that good news, uh, Liz and I, we've talked it over, we love the idea, we're gonna have a Candle Enthusiast exclusive promo code for the website, so this way, uh, you'll get a certain percentage, we haven't worked out the details yet, but a certain percentage off your entire purchase. And uh, we're, Liz and I are just trying to work out the details with that, but she was so gracious in uh, you know, offering to do something like that. And uh, I, I really, uh, I, really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled by her kindness. So Liz, if you're watching, thank you very much. And uh, I'm telling you guys, you know, I say it all the time with City Wicks, but any of you new folks, you're wondering like, what is Witch City Wicks? It, is my favorite small production. When I say small, I mean, you know, small. Like one person is doing, one or two people is doing everything. And uh, these are the most amazing candles. So my favorite small production, handcrafted candle companies. Now, of course, um, Liz and I filmed this segment. We had about two hours of footage of a sit down interview when I met with Liz. I got to see the new shop gorgeous we vlogged around the shop we interviewed and we discussed like what candles uh, should we be promoting on the candle enthusiast um, and and she's like I don't care I don't care whatever you whatever you feel is right so I have a lot of the Halloween candles already I will be uh, reviewing those. I'm actually ecstatic to review them because I've been waiting essentially since last October to break them out. So I have the Halloween collection for the exception of a, of a couple. Uh, but if you, it looks like um, if you go to if you go to Spooky Villages YouTube channel, he got his hands on everything this year before they sold out. So let's show you what I got. Which city wicks? Now if they can't win you over with the aromatics of their candles. They're going to win you over with the visual aesthetics. So limited edition, it's back. This uh, completely sold out on its first run, and then it couldn't be made anymore. Uh, it had to be completely reformulated based on, uh, I'm guessing, a, a supplier of one of the fragrance oils. So take a look at that. This is a limited edition candle. Uh, soy wax, hand poured. And there's, oh my God, there, there's, there's story behind this candle. There is story. And I'm sure Liz would be happy to sh share those, that story with you. Reach out to me anytime you want. I'll tell you the story. I just, I think I've already said it before, so I don't want to be restating myself. But uh, one last time I do have to say, I, I'll always love the Yankee Candle. I love large candle companies, right? A candle is a candle. It's to me, it's nostalgia. It's fun. It's beautiful aromatics. But if you're really, really hardcore about exploring al alternate avenues when it comes to burning candles, um, seeing things that probably won't ever be represented 
NA Yankee candle or a Bath and Body Works candle. Things that are bold, sweep you off your feet, take you to other places. Witch City Wicks, she's a storyteller, that's for sure. So Edgar Allan Poe, limited edition. Now this one is the first run, uh, and I had to get this. Uh, first run, also limited edition, a part of the same collection. This is going to be HP Lovecraft. Oh man, oh man. And this one is crazy complex. I mean, I just, when I smelled it in front of Liz, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is something I need at least a half hour with before I can start talking about this. It's all about balance. So look at that collection. If you're into uh, the literary candles uh, or, you know, both, both supernatural, um, uh, not supernatural, uh, yeah, supernatural thriller, horror, um, suspense, novelist, you gotta have Poe, you gotta have HP Lovecraft, but wait until we get that promotion, uh, that promotional code. In fact, they might not even be available on the website yet. So when we get that promotional code, you'll save that money, so don't, don't buy it yet. All right, and there's, there's something else. Oh yeah, there's something else. Should I save it as a surprise? I don't think I want to do that. And if you guys are watching, and only if you're having a good time, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Really, really helps me out at the end of the day, trust me. At the end of the week, it really helps me out, put it that way. Now, there's so many possibilities with this next candle, but I just want to first draw your attention to that, that vessel. Oh my god. I mean, that is opaque. Now, no question, uh, light will shine through once that flame is going, but that is a dark glass. These are all reusable um, vessels, too, so once your candle is done. But I should reveal the name of this candle. This is part of Witch City Wick's Black Collection. I don't know if that's the official name, but I think it is, Black Collection. There's a Black Amber, there's a, 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 a I'm forgetting them, a Black Amber, Black Leather, and there are probably several others, maybe, but the one that I had to get is a Black Apple. Now just take that in for a moment. Just take that in for a moment, how uh, uh, gorgeous that is. I mean, Liz comes from a marketing background. She also comes from, um, I'm guessing, digital design. But this is not an overly busy label. Very elegant. And uh, I, I totally, totally get a kick out of this. Now, I bought this for a couple of reasons. Apple, yeah, autumn time, perfect. Apple. You know, I'm going to be visiting a lot of Apple country during our travels uh, in the upcoming months. But also, you guys might know that every once in a while I sprinkle in uh, a Disney Park video. And to this point, I've never brought in a candle to the Disney Park parks before. Uh, and had because I go up to Disney parks, I've, I talk to the characters and I ask them about what what are their favorite scents. If they had a candle, what would they name it? Um, like based on them, uh, I would love to get Snow White's opinion on a Black Apple. Uh, might might be a little bit a little bit a uh, sensitive topic for Snow White, but um, yeah, I mean um, that or the Queen, the Evil Queen beautiful beautiful and I, I yeah I'm all about the, the black glass so which city wicks yes yeah, Snow White Snow White she might be she you know she's always nice to me we got a good thing going Snow White and I and um, and Leslie if you're watching if you're not here or if you're watching later there's something in this bag for you too I, I owed Leslie something very important and let's keep this going. It's got a good rhythm. What do you got? Have, is anyone out there burn Witch City Wicks? I'm gonna look at the comments for a couple seconds. Is anyone burned? Ask her about Forbidden Apple as well. Who? Maybe I should ask Snow White. 
which she prefers or which she hates most. I don't know how Snow White's going to react. Forbidden Apple. And remember, Liz also has a candle called Poison Apple. That's part of the Halloween collection. That's one you're definitely going to want to check out, too. Future Desire per Witch City Wicks. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We did that giveaway. Yeah, so one thing I just really want to quickly address. It's on my notes, so I should address it. I was out on the road for six days. Uh, I didn't reserve any of those days for editing. What I had planned to do is film something, edit something that night. Film something in the morning, edit something that night. Film something in the morning, edit something that night. And so on and so forth. Um, it's very difficult. I knew it was going to be very difficult. But there's a point where you're like... It's not going to happen. Like, I just don't have enough hours in the day. So, a few videos are late, but they're shot. So, just give me a little bit of time. I'm going back on the road early, early, early morning, Wednesday. Yes, uh, early Wednesday. And... God, is that correct? Yes, early Wednesday. Uh, and... Uh, We'll be filming more stuff. So things are getting filmed. Things are getting in the can. I just need to get them edited. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And I don't think I mentioned this. I don't think I mentioned this. The giveaway. The giveaway for the sweet seduction with the candle enthusiast face on it. It's going to be announced on... I have it right here. I wrote all this down. Wednesday, September 6th, 2017. I can't say for sure what time exactly, but it's going to be between 12 and 2. So if you missed the live video, that's fine. But I will announce the winner on Wednesday, September 6th, 2017. So if you're watching this video on Thursday, September 7th, I apologize, but we will have more giveaways to come. In the comments below, jot this down. I need your help. 2 o'clock on Sunday, Eastern Time, U.S. Is this the right time? Should I be going on at 1 o'clock? Should I be going on at 12 o'clock? Because we have a lot of folks joining us from all over the world. I want to make sure that we're going on at a time that suits us all. So in the comments below, if you really have a strong opinion about this, let me a little, let, write me a little message. Ba, 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 ba. This is good. This is good. eBay. eBay is, uh, we're going to, I'm going to be posting a lot of uh, great stuff, uh, probably today and tomorrow. Since I was gone, I didn't want to be posting stuff because I can't ship uh, a lot of things. I have, I still have to ship Leslie. Leslie, your candles are coming. And, uh, um, but I will be posting a bunch of things that I think you'll find interesting. Uh, not only rarities, but just fun things. Again, I'm not looking, I don't want you guys to be spending a fortune. I want you to get these things at good prices. Uh, but every single penny goes right back into the show. I know what I forgot to grab. Hold on. Now, a lot of you folks have been asking me if I went all the way to Kringle Candle, but I didn't buy anything. Well, you just didn't see it. Of course, I bought some stuff. Um, that's the Kringle bag right there. It's a very small bag, but trust me, I got a lot of goodies uh, for, for now, for uh, deeper into autumn. Even for Christmas, and there's a candle that I found that uh, truly made me decide, because I said I was going to do it, but I had to put it on the back burner, but it's made me decide I am going to do a Game of Thrones inspired video. I'm going to dig real deep and find several candles that I am going to suggest that you can burn while watching Game of Thrones. Now, I know we're getting <laughs> closer and closer to the finale, but um, either way, I'm sure once the, the 
the the season's over, you're going to be rewatching it again and again like I will. And someone asked me about doing a Twin Peaks video too. That just might happen as well. So Kringle, uh, this is just some of the things I purchased. I, I don't want to go through every single one, but there we go. So a lot of Aro Aroma Prison um, uh, observations, evaluations are coming up. Uh, also, a lot of candles from Kringle are being retired, but never fear, never fear. I find that a lot of the Kringle candles that are being retired are coming in the form of the country candle line. So just because the Kringle candles are disappearing, because there was a couple that I'm like, wait a minute, how could they ever retire this candle? And then I found it on a country candle. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah, we gotta, I gotta find a way to make their aroma prison a little bit more fun. Because I feel like I have to explain it every time <laughs> when I do it. Because people watching for the first time are like, what, what on earth are you doing? All right, I think it's time to show you Something that I've been looking for for a while. Now, of course, you could just go straight on the website and purchase them. I don't know. To me, that's always a last resort. Not that it's a bad thing, but I always like buying things in person. So, one of the two candles that's going to be a part of this month's can Candle Enthusiast Fan Club. Fan Club. Candle Enthusiast... Um, Candle of the Month Club is going to be this this uh, uh, young lady right here. I always say gentleman. Let's go with a young lady. It's called Witch's Brew, but it's not the Witch's Brew that you're thinking of. This is a pillar candle uh, from a company called Coventry Collections. They uh, are a family company, uh, and they they they've I think they celebrated their 20th anniversary last year. So they've been around this is a very hot seller for them you can see it says witch's brew circle of magic and original so if this is the original does that mean there's more yes you better believe it now patreon folks these aren't coming to you but i am going to evaluate this entire set so coventry collection has four witch's brew candles we have the original right here. Let's see if we can get this a little closer. Uh, very unlike uh, uh, Yankee Candle, Monica. Thank you for asking that. Um, this is, uh, I would doubt, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think uh, that there's probably any patchouli in this at all. Um, so we have the original. We have Dragon's Blood. Look at that. Look at that. Now this isn't fragrance oils. They're they're using essential oils and resins. So at, even though these are pillar candles, which means they don't have as much oil in them, they are still incredibly aromatic. Cold. In fact, uh, when I was at the hotels, I had to like wrap these up and put them in my backpack because they were so powerful. We have the Evil Eye and Witch's Purse. Now, yes, aesthetically, they're beautiful, but that's not the reason why I want to review them. I love, love, love this company's mission. I love uh, the design. I love the aromas. And they have a big collection. Check out their website. Um, see if it's on here. It's CoventryCollections.com. Uh, but I do want to review these. So that will be coming up very, very soon. So keep your eyes open for that. And Jacob and Brian, keep your eyes open for this one in the mail with, with another candle as well. Coventry Collection. Oh, man. That's going to be so much fun. Because once we throw them, I'm going to shave some of the wax, throw it into the aroma prison. And uh, no question, no question, it's going to be super strong, super powerful. 
We're at 35 minutes and 23 seconds, which means it's time for cup number two. How did everyone's Yankee Candle experience go? If you're not a Yankee Candle person, that's cool. And maybe the Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond. I stopped off at Bed Bath. I keep saying Bed Bath & Beyond. God, sorry about that. I stopped off at Bath & Body Works and uh, several locations. And I tried to get the, the large three wick um, candles. Free guys, I was gonna smell them and uh, burn them, evaluate them. Um, but they, 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 they told me that they had them. I may have said this in my last vlog, or live. They had them in the back. They had them. But they, wouldn't, they weren't putting them out because they need to sell the ones that are on the shelf first. Well, I'm like, can I, can I get the ones in the back? Could you just grab me a couple? No, we don't do that. I'm like, all right, all right. That's cool. That's, that's, that's how you run a business. I am not judging by no means. Uh, what else do I got? What do I got? Uh, some other things I've been noticing is a lot of really good recommendations from you guys as far as episode ideas. And I really want to thank you for that because um, I actually will be taking a lot of your advice. I will be filming some of those episodes. Uh, wait, I missed a lot of comments here. No, Shane, I just drank my coffee out of the same mug this morning. That's crazy, Sammy. See this mug? So we've got Charlie Brown, but it's the evolution of Charlie Brown uh, by decade. So you can see how Sparky, or Charles Schultz uh, drew or illustrated, I should say, Charlie Brown throughout the years. Goodwill, $2.50. Not gonna lie. Alright, I want this updated. No, I'm actually burning it. Angie, uh, yeah, because I'm not evaluating today, so I actually have have it going. Now keep in mind, I have the AC on right there. Usually when I'm doing my analyses here, I'll turn that off and suffer from the studio lights. Bright lights, not studio lights. Um, but uh, it's, it's rather cold in this room. I'm kind of like a polar bear. I love being cold. So... The glass is not having, uh, it's having a little bit of issues of fully pooling out. So if you guys, if I wasn't filming, this is all I do. Check it out. This is all you got to do. I recommend a nice seasonal looking sock. Something that looks a little bit nicer than this. But all you have to do is tie, I call it the candle cozy. I'm sure someone's out there making those. What that'll do is that'll keep the heat on the glass. The heat will get really hot, right? Because that, that AC or central air won't blow off the heat, which will make the candle burn properly. And by looking at the wick, even with that AC on, it's pretty steady. It's the other thing you want to be looking at. And you'll notice the wick is a bit high which is the way I burn it, but not where it's like a blowtorch. Tin foil, yeah, you know what? Here's a good idea. Anyone who uses tin foil, that's awesome, that's perfect. But check out, it's a, it's a film, it's a filmmaker's or a television, you know, a, a, a gaffer tool. It's called black wrap. Black wrap is aluminum foil, but it's about five to ten times thicker than aluminum foil and it's matte black which is great right we want black because black is going to hold on to the heat uh, you can order it on Amazon and get a roll of it it's kind of expensive but one roll will last you forever and what's great about it you know tin foil you know sometimes it's really hard to you know sculpt it you know um, black wrap won't do this it you bend it 
you crimp it, it stays put. So uh, little little tip, little tip. Da, da, da. Wow, great fine black wrap. Oh, great, Brian. So Brian knows what I'm talking about. Black wrap. Yeah. So the two the two things that you absolutely or three things you positively absolutely need, no matter who you are, other than maybe an actor, on a set of, of a film is black wrap, black gaffer's tape. It's essentially like duct tape. It's just black, and uh, um. C41. C41s is just a really technical term for clothespins. You'd be surprised how often you need clothespins. Gloves, gloves. Yeah, I don't touch the lights though. Monica can attest to that. They won't let me touch the lights. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let. Um, let me kind of address some of the things that are coming up. Monica. Monica, I want to say this real quick. We were in like... Monica is always a helper, uh, if not like full ongoing producer on the set of my brother's films. And one time I was just having a terrible day and, you know, just so overwhelmed with stress. And Monica comes in the door with a big thing of Starbucks coffees. And I'm like, oh, bless her little heart. None of those Starbucks cups were for me. And I looked at her and I'm like, she's like, well, you didn't say you wanted any. I'm like, all right, all right. Yes, there's a lot of new uh, Christmas scents from Yankee. They, if you take a little Google, you'll find them all out. Um for both the UK and for the United States. It won't take hard to find them on Google, but I've made the choice and not to do what I did with Halloween. I was talking about Halloween candles back almost in late May, guys, really, late May. And a lot of you guys were happy about that. A lot of you guys were like, wait a minute, wait a minute, What's ha what world are we living in? Uh, so I figure this year what I'll do when it comes to the Yankee Candle Christmas fragrances, I'm not going to try to get them early, but I will review them as soon as they come out. What I'll probably do is there's the first wave of Christmas candles, and then about a month later there's a second wave of Christmas candles. Uh, I'll just go to South Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store, uh, review them right in-house, just right, right there, right inside. So um, I don't have to purchase them. Um, plus, it's always fun to be at Yankee Candle. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Jackie Brown. Da, 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 da. So, what did I do? I went to preview party. I went to see Liz at Witch City Wicks. I did a lot of filming in Salem. That's when things went awry. Uh, lot, several things got canceled. I had to leave, uh, but I'm going back. And trust me when I say, guys, the next big segment I'm gonna film, and may not be for everybody, especially if you are easily creeped out, if you're easily spooked by stories, very haunting, very disturbing stories. But I have a really cool location. Uh, that I want to go to film there and it, it sort of combines several of the ideas that I wanted uh, several of the ideas of videos that I wanted to produce this this season so it's like killing three birds with one stone I would never kill a bird but you know figuratively uh, killing three birds with one stone and it's going to be epic and uh, you know I won't lie a lot of you folks a lot of you folks supported this idea. You actually recommended this idea. So I'll give you guys full credit. A lot of people love... Oh, wow. I'm going to read some of these messages, guys. So keep them coming. This is dead air is what this is. I'm not talking. So maybe I should sing. Not sing. 
not gonna sing like my brother, but I can hum. Oh, oh, okay, Monica's saying, Monica says, I can't believe you're doing it. She's referring to the segment that I'm gonna film. Yes, my personal safety, my personal emotions and distress does not concern me when it comes to producing the best kind of uh, content I can for this channel doing it all for you guys, putting it all on the line, and um, I'll look back on it in maybe 10 years and not be scarred by the experience, but do what, do what you gotta do. Haunted Hollow, David, I love it. I love it. And don't let myself or anybody else alter your, your opinion on that candle. If you smelled it, or if you haven't smelled it and you're going to smell it, smell it and be true to yourself. Go into it without any preconceived notions. Don't let my opinion or somebody else's opinion um, ruin your unique experience with that candle. For me, I smelled it and it was instant love. It's something I've always wished Yankee Candle, an avenue that wish, I, I was an avenue that I always wished Yankee Candle would take. And... You know, I just, I, it just, you know, what makes me a little sad is to see a lot of negativity on that candle is not going to make them want to do that kind of stuff again. We want to support Yankee Candle doing new, fun things. Not all the time, but some of the time. So take from that what you will, David. Monica's concerned. Dead air. Nice joke, political clownfish. Dead air. That's actually not a really... That's, that's a really good name. And the label could be like a disc jockey. Like a skeleton disc jockey who's like passed out on top of the turntable. Dead air. Bam. See see what I mean? Concept. This is, this is, this is why you need bounce ideas around. I think that's a very funny, very, very clever idea. I'd buy that fragrance. And it could smell like classic, old, you know, aged vinyl records. Even the cardboard case or the covers, the, the, the envelopes they would come in and the little, the, little, the little paper sleeves. Can you imagine? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. Dead air. Beautiful. I think he needs a round of applause for that one. Uh, Carol, in your opinion, do you think Yankee Candle Illumilids reduce fragrance throw? I don't, I, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. I haven't ever, like, conducted an experiment to tr truly do this. Um... You know, the more surface area an aluminum lid has, and excuse me, guys, I'm wearing track pants today. Can't always get dressed up. Not that I ever get dressed up. Uh, see this beautiful aluminum lid? I love it. But this one right here, these are all Halloween ones. This has, it's not only thicker, it has a much thicker metal. Like, I don't even think I could bend this with my hands if I tried. But it's got more surface area, which means it's going to collect more heat and it's going to radiate that heat downwards, keeping that wax warm. Um, and it's always a little bit of a help, too. So if you rub your finger on the bottom, if you're getting black on your finger, let me use a different finger this time. Um, if you're getting black on your finger, there's a little dot right there. That means uh, your flame's too high. Flame is too high, so it can also help you understand whether or not you're burning your, um, your candle right. And as far as the shades, uh, not as good, but very beautiful. And get the job done. What's most important is that your candle fully pulls out, that your flame is not too high, and you have a naturally occurring current in your living space. If you have the AC on like I do now, 
or if you have central air on, guess what? Your aroma is up there, not down here. So that's, that's usually the problem. All right. Shane, do you, uh, what do you honestly think about the new style jars and pillar designs? Um, I, 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 if I can only choose to buy uh, a house warmer jar, uh, I'm always saying house warmer jar, I hope you guys know what I mean. Uh, if you go back to like, I don't know when they officially stopped putting it on the jar, but these were always called house warmer jars. So when I'm saying house warmer jars, this is what I'm talking about, just in case you don't know. Uh, the tumblers, I'm a fan of the paraffin wax. I don't think it's poisoning you or uh, your children or your dogs, unless you're burning 15 of them in your house 24 hours a day. Uh, and I like the candles to last a long time, and I love the marbleization, seeing the oils interact and play and uh, that beautiful pattern inside the paraffin wax. Um, What's the question? <laughs> um, okay, so the New Year's, uh, the pillar jars. Uh, so if we go back to 2015, or last year, uh, you see it's not the first time we've seen uh, something like this. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I decided to get the trio because I really, really loved you know, how they had excerpts from William Shakespeare, they had uh, Edgar Allan Poe, they had uh, John uh, uh, Kendrick Bangs on all the candles uh, inside. Plus it's soy wax, which is like, how often do you get witch's brew in the, the soy wax blend? Uh, so I'm okay. I always do prefer the house warmer jars though. And if you have, if you're the opposite, go with it. There's nothing wrong with the two wick tumblers. It's just I don't want to mix collection. You know, to me, I grew up with the house warmer. I just don't want to. I just don't want to change. You know, unless it only comes in the tumbler. <laughs> Jackie says, "Oh no, I might be burning 15 candles 24 hours a day in my house." Well, maybe then. Maybe then. Let me put this back, and you guys want to try something fun? Maybe it'll be fun for you guys, and maybe I'm talking a little too much Halloween. I really tried not to do this today, because we have a lot of autumn to get to before we truly get to Halloween. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, some of you out there have older witches brews than I do. Unfortunately, this is the, the oldest one I have. I'm sure we've all seen this label because I burned them. I wasn't collecting them um, when I first started buying them. This is a 2013 witches brew. So a, lot, a, a big, big topic was, is the witches brew this year, you know, let me get one more thing. So I also have it in the house warmer from this year. The Witch's Brew smells differently from past years. And I could see this being a big debate, big concept um, going around. A lot of people are saying that, not a lot of people, but a lot of discussion about whether patchouli, the fragrance patchouli is the same as Witch's Brew. And you know how I feel about that. But I'm gonna smell this 2013 Witch's Brew. Last time I opened this is at least a year ago. Okay. That's what I come to expect, Witch's Brew. It's a pretty old candle and it's holding up very well. Let me, let me do this one first. different. It's different. A little bit, a little bit. 
Is it close enough? Of course it's close enough. But if you are an acute observer, there's a difference. But then again, that's soy wax. So let's go to the paraffin wax here. Whoa. Give me one second. admit that that one I had there was from an outlet and it looks as if someone switched the the aluminum lid with a forbidden apple which is never a good thing so this is last year's yeah so yeah there's a difference if you if you purchased um, witches brew this year or if you have last year's um, or if you have both pop them out at your convenience and smell them side by side you'll notice right away that this has a brighter a little bit more of a citrusy thing happening we could say other kind of fruit whatever it might be there's a brightness to it uh, but don't focus on that just smell this and tell me if you smell coca-cola classic I'm serious smell if you have this if you purchase this and it's not uh, an outlet candle tell me if you smell coca-cola classic or just a generic cola aroma but I'm definitely getting coca-cola classic so they they do I feel in my mind adapt the formula a, li a little bit every year and I think that's fine but most importantly we have to remember that Variance from year to year when it comes to fragrance oils, just like with wine, is going to be different, right? If you buy like a 2012 Schaefer Hillside Select Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, uh, it is going to taste different on 2013. And that is not because of the winemakers, that is because of Mother Nature. It's what the weather is. So if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're buying fragrance oil from a distributor, um, you know, year to year, there's a good chance, even though they're doing the same thing using the same equipment, you're going to get slightly different fragrance oils. So I embrace that the fact that uh, every year there's a little bit of variance. But to me, this does feel like they're trying to make this a little bit more approachable for those people who are not quite into uh, um, patchouli. Now, if you disagree, please bombard me with criticisms. All right. I'm just looking over. Uh, so, yes. And, uh, yeah, I tried to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on the black magic. I wish I could have done it a lot sooner. I mean, I did say it back in June that it doesn't look like it's coming back, but I, I at least made it sound like there was hope. But uh, about a week and a half before the release party, I knew for sure it wasn't coming back, or at least 98%, which is, which is sad, right? So what I did was I had two extra ones in uh, my collection um, they weren't in my personal collection, but I had them for like if my brother ever wanted one. I was gonna give one to my dad. Dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get you one somehow. But I put them up in our eBay account, and bam, uh, we got some more funding for the show. So this is what I'm talking about with that eBay. Uh, it's really helping us out fund this show. They were the 2015. Black Magics too, which were soy, and I feel like that one was a little bit more robust, a little bit more dangerous. But you gotta love the 2016 too. Have you used a candle lamp? I I don't. Mystic Pizza, I don't have one. I really don't plan on it either. Um, not that I have anything against it, and I do have to try it. I think I owe it to 
everybody. If I'm gonna call myself the candle enthusiast, I have to try it. But I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sold on the, the idea. I mean, I think that you need these candles from a physics chemistry standpoint. They're made to burn a very specific way, and um, I think you might do some harm to the candle. I look, I am no means an authority, but that's my initial impression. One of the stores I went to, which is brew, did smell different. Oktoberfest. I'm going back a little bit here. Oktoberfest, yay. Yeah. Yeah, that that. Two thousand so that Witch's Brew was from 2011 in the UK. Maybe they had it for a couple of years. Mine has the 2013 stamp on it, but I trust you. Uh, but I've seen, yeah, I mean, there, there's, if you, again, it doesn't take a lot of searching on Google. They're, they used to make a full 22-ounce house warmer jar of, um, of Witch's Brew. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so, Monica, you're going to have to show me how to do this. Because I'm scrolling through all the questions that I missed. And... It's jumping all over the place. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Candle land, smell the yesterday degree. Wait, is, we, ooh, we have controversy against the black magic? Is that what you guys were talking about? Dun, dun, dun. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. All right, let's just get up to the most current. Most current. So, has anyone discovered out, discovered out, has anyone discovered the three candles with the, the birds on them? Uh, I've confirmed, a lot of you confirmed it for me, but I, I have confirmed it to myself that they can be found at select outlets. You know, the autumn twilight, the autumn, autumn rain, harvest bouquet. They can all be found in outlets and, and some other retail arenas. But um, I think there's a little bit more to the store than meets the eye. So I still will be reviewing them. Yeah, so that's what I found. So Nicole, thank you. She, she found the, the tumblers. David, what's my take on Autumn Dusk? Gotta start watching my reviews, man. Um, Autumn Dusk is, in my opinion really authentic and fun. It's authentic with a little bit of whimsy, with a little, little bit of liberties taken, of course. I told you folks that if I were to rename the candle, I'd probably give it a name like Scarecrow because it definitely uh, uh, provides you with a more October appropriate, a little bit more of a haunting aroma uh, with that dried hay bale, hay, um, corn husk, the, the, the rotten and deteriorating deteriorating and decaying wood that that scarecrow is hanging on it's a uh, it's pretty 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 good pretty good is it for everybody certainly not Did anybody think what did people think about um, the the wood woodwick candles vanilla bean and uh, Pumpkin butter. Have you guys been talking about that already? Da, 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 da. And if you guys, if, if we have lurkers out there, like people watching but not typing, come on, come on, type. What about the candy corn wood whip? Well, I smelt the top, right? And I like it. I have to say, like, I'm okay with Woodwick candles. I know a lot of people are frustrated by them. They're too loud. They sound like sizzling bacon. I get it. I understand it. But I don't know. You know, I have to say, like, when you seal a large collection of Woodwicks together, there's a, that little, little piece in me, that collector part of me that, that wants to grab them all. Yes. 
backups of candy corn, uh, Halloween, I can certainly uh, relate to that. In fact, not that row, not that row, but that row right over here. That's going to be candy corns from the years of 2010 to current, well, until they retired. All right. Vanilla bean once sold out in my store. Really? See, this is this is the shame, because in South Deerfield they were fully, fully stocked. So I never know what's going to sell out elsewhere. But if I had known, I would have loved to grab some for you folks and. Put them up on eBay for 99 cents and just let them naturally go for whatever we want them to. You know, I'll be honest with you too, in, in regards to the Woodwick, um, polit uh, Political Clownfish did something here. He purposely, did you say he purposely didn't smell them, he ignored the Woodwick. I kind of did the same thing when Pure Radiance came around because I was afraid of falling in love with Pure Radiance and then suddenly one day them disappearing, which is precisely what happened. And uh, so, you know, thankfully, I do have some Pure Radiance, but thankfully I never went crazy with them because they're gone now. All right. So let's close this up. One more time about this giveaway, if anybody's watching. And if you've been watching from the beginning and this is the third time you've heard me talk about it, forgive me. Uh, this candle uh, that I purchased at Sal Deerfield, Massachusetts, uh, at the flagship store. Now remember, that is about half a mile from where this candle was actually made. If you've ever purchased a Yankee candle before, it's produced right in the same town as the flagship store. About three minutes away. Uh, so this was the very, very, I'm not kidding. It sounds like I might be kidding, but this was the very first one that uh, they put out on the shelf, at least one of the displays that they had at Deerfield. I quickly grabbed it um, and I had my 2017 label, which my mom is going to want to say that she had her hands in helping me design, and she did. She really gave me some good pointers. We, we, we uh, uh, photoshopped this so it would fit perfectly, but you see we have the old label banner. And can you read that? It's going to be so hard for you to read. But instead of saying fresh or fruity, it says spooky. It is certainly a spooky candle. I'm giving this away. No matter where you are in the country, I want to send this to you. What you need to do on this video or my last live video where I was at Kringle Candle, in the comments, I want you to create a candle concept, a Halloween candle concept. The more creative you are, the better chances you have for winning. So what's on the label? What's the candle called? What was the thought process of creating this candle. How do the ingredients of what that candle smell like play with your concept? Really give it all. I'm gonna take the collection of my favorites and lottery system, pick one out on Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday at 2 p.m. Um, September 7th. God, help me out, guys. Wednesday, September 7th, uh, at 2 p.m. Uh, U.S. Eastern Time, so New York City Time, 2 p.m. Is that what I said? B -b 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 Wednesday, September 6th, Wednesday, September 6th, 2017, just in case you're watching this next year. 2017, Wednesday, September 6th, 2 p.m., I'm going to announce the winner of this candle. Uh, like I said, no matter where you are in the world, I'm going to ship it to you for free. But, 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 keep in mind that I have more of these. So I will be posting them up on the eBay, uh, the Candle Enthusiast eBay page very soon. So look that up. Um, I got some with the label, some with without. Either way, they'll all come with personalized uh, cards, personalized letter, 
whatever I can throw in there. If I have some extra goodies lying around, I just always toss them in the box. Um, so I will be giving those away. Plus, there's a lot of other eBay items coming up soon. There's a lot of reviews coming up soon. I will be traveling uh, on Wednesday as well back into Massachusetts. At least three videos to be posted from now until then. So lots of stuff coming up. If you haven't watched that Yankee Candle uh, preview party video, check that out. And one more thing. There's a new series. I'm calling it a series. I was calling it a segment for a while just to make it sound like it wasn't something big deal. Uh, and it really isn't a big deal. But it is, a, you know, for me, it's very important. I've created a new series called The In-Betweens. And quite literally what that means is it's everything that's filmed is in between all of the other segments that I'm shooting. So when I'm traveling, it's me being me, what's going on with my traveling, the, the crazy things that happen, getting stuck in the snow with the vehicle, you know, dropping a cup of coffee on my lap, which has happened already twice this year. I want to document all this stuff because I think it's funny, but it also shows you a little bit more of the adventure of what I have to go through uh, to get to sometimes very strange locations. And I'm going to keep the editing on those videos very simplistic, very, very, very simplistic. So this way I can pump them out at a faster rate. And uh, I posted the first video already. It's, uh, it's right here in front of me. The Candle Enthusiast presents the in-betweens. But uh, the episode two and episode three will be posted very soon. So keep your eyes open. And um, I'm, I'm going to be in New England. Or I'm going to say I'm going to be in Massachusetts this coming week. If you have any suggestions, especially if it's in the Boston, Salem, eastern portion of Massachusetts, it doesn't have to be. If you really want me to do something, if there's something that you want to see me visit, you want to see me uh, document, if there's, it doesn't have to be an attraction or anything like that, but just something cool. I would be more than happy to try to pull that off, try to stop and film it. I love uh, seeing historic locations. I was in a cemetery the other day and it was actually really cool and beautiful and peaceful. Uh, really wonderful surprise. So all of that stuff will be going into the in-betweens uh, series. So uh, thank you so much. We are, of course, as always, over time. Uh, I want to uh, really extend my thank you uh, to you guys. I love seeing our subscriber number grow. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Where if you looked at the progression from when I started to February and then February to now, how it's grown exponentially. So let's keep that going. Spread the love, recommend a video, share a video of mine uh, with your friends. And uh, let's see if we can make this circle of enthusiasts bigger and bigger every day. That's it for me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment below when this video is f uh, finally posted. I will be seeing you soon, sooner than you might think. But until then, be good, won't you? All right, guys. Have a great Sunday. Have a good beverage. And out we go.